Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about some uh, NBA news. I want to talk about the first thing here, the first um, story. I just want to get that out of the way. Some stuff here from Woj. So if you think, before you think NBA Central, uh, we had a, another trade, another massive trade today. Um, we had one a few nights ago, the Macau Bridges to New York trade. Now we have Atlanta trading DeJounte Murray to the New Orleans Pelicans. Um, this was from uh, Adrian Wojnarowski. Sources tell ESPN. And I was like, what? Because I was like, he come to the Pelicans? I mean, the Pelicans are going to be really, really good next year. If Zion can stay healthy, that's a big if. If he can stay healthy, they're going to be a force. Like, really. And uh, the, in this trade, uh, per Woj, um, the Pelicans are trading a 2025 first round, which is via the Lakers, and a least favorable Milwaukee slash Pelicans 2027 first round pick. Um, and a 2027 first round pick, Larry Nance Jr., and more for Murray. Sources tell ESPN. The Pelicans, that's all they had to trade, was a first, a 2025 first, and a least favorable Pelicans first rounder. Pel- Pelicans slash Milwaukee first, and Larry Nance Jr. And more for, for a freaking DeJounte Murray. That's highway robbery. What are the Atlanta Hawks doing, ladies and gentlemen? What a joke. For Atlanta, you could have got much more than that. And Dejounte Murray's not overrated; he's a really talented. But they landed Dejounte Murray to anchor their backcourt, and I like this move, really do. This is the full trade: Dejounte Murray for Larry Nance Jr. Per watch. This is per watch, by the way. Dyson Daniels, a 2025 first round pick via the Lakers. A 2027 first round pick, the least favorable favorable of Bucks and the Pelicans. This is real, really robbery. This is highway robbery. You you could have got much more than this. He's worth more. Dyson is. I mean, I feel like Dyson Daniels is one of the best three best perimeter defenders. Maybe he could fix a shot. I mean, he's a, he's a great defender, but he doesn't give much offensively. Larry Nance Jr. is a solid role player, but you could have got way more for DeJounte Murray, man. Like, the Pelicans easily won this trade uh, for me. The Hawks got fleeced so, so bad. And, and Mikael Bridges went for four first-round picks, by the way. Dude, this just, this just doesn't make sense. Larry Nance and Dyson Daniels, like... Why do teams give away their stars, it feels like, for nothing? Like, for example, like the Angels and uh, MLB give away Shohei Otani. What do they do to maybe try to make their team better? Oh, they do nothing. And for the NBA, it's a good example as well. Like, the Hawks are going to say mid, and this is one of the biggest fleeces I've ever seen. And this will also help. New Orleans was 0 for 24 when trailing entering the fourth quarter. And two and fourteen in close games, and see Murray is a player who can generate offense, like late in games. The Pelicans are going to remain committed to a core that includes Zion Williamson, see some Colin Pels, or they're trying to find, like, trying to find if they can try and maybe get Brandon Ingram back. I've, I don't know if they want to bring him back. I mean, I I think they're trying to. I don't think they're not trying to. But I don't think, I just don't know if Brandon Ingram, say him, you know, smell and Chunas. I don't know if they're coming back. But if they do, then they're going to be really tough. But 0 24 is crazy when trailing here in the fourth quarter. And this is Woj. Um, some more comments after the straight. But this is really going to help them. I, if the Pelicans, the Pelicans, such a smart trade. And Murray is really clutch. Like, he's in clutch in these clutch situations. And you can read the full ESP, the ESPN story on ESPN.com of this deal, but the Hawks, they're ending this Murray, Trey Young experiment. And right, Dyson Daniels, I mean, yeah, I guess he's a promising young guard, and they're getting a, dra- getting a pick in a deep 2025 NBA draft. So, 
they knew them. I mean, I feel like Landry Fields made a not a, that great of a move. I thought it was okay, but they they still have more off season work to do. And I, I guess you had to make a move in the backcourt. You either had to trade Trey or Jante. They tro- chose to trade Jante. You could have got way more than that. I was never understood the year the Hawks made the fucking Western Conference Finals. I mean, maybe Dejounte Murray wasn't the best fit for that team. I feel like Trey was doing great playmaking by himself. Dejounte's more of a point guard. Like the duo just did not make sense uh, when they got him. It just never made sense to me. It's just they feel like they changed their offense. Like they sh- maybe they want Trey to do the offense. Which they should. Landry Fell shouldn't be a fucking general manager, dude. Daniel Di- Dan- Dyson Daniels is promising defensively, but offensively, no. Like, I have not seen any improvement from him. Just saying. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, um, this is per Dave uh, McMahon, 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 how do you say his last name? Uh, D'Angelo Russell to ESPN on the decision to opt in on the final, opt in for the final year of his contract with Lakers for 18.7 million. Million. And quote, I love what JJ is about, and I really see myself thriving under the guys to to help win at a high level. Who's gonna tell him, man? They should just they be, they're better off without D'Angelo Russell. Like sometimes the dude just has these hot streaks and then disappears in the playoffs. So he ex- he exercises his eighteen point seven million dollar player option. I mean, watch him get tra- watch him get traded. That would be funny. Uh, this ESPN sources per Andrew Lopez, uh, the San Antonio Spurs are, and Guardian Devontae Graham are moving back the guarantee date of his contract back to July eighth. Graham has a 2.885 million of his 12.65 million salary already guaranteed for 2024-25. The rest was set to guarantee on July 1st, and that's the pushback away. Oh wow, big news there. Uh, the Charlotte Hornets are waving guard Seth Curry, but interest exists on both sides to keep talking on No Deal in July free agency. The team had a deadline today on guaranteeing Curry's contract for the 2024-25 season, per Watch. Eh, I don't know if he wants to stay there anyways. Uh, the Toronto Raptors, per Woj, are picking up the $23 million player option on guard Bruce Brown's contract. Sources tell ESPN he'll be a valuable trade asset on the expiring contract for the Raptors. Dude how, dude, how much money do these the Raptors have? Like they gave Emmanuel quickly this big ass contract, and somehow they still had money. So, uh, per watch ESPN sources, the Washington Wizards and guard Landry Shamit are moving his eleven million dollar, uh, eleven million guaranteed date to July thirteenth. Deadline has had been Saturday. The time gives the Wizards a chance to explore deal scenarios, including possibility that Shamit returns next season. I mean, oh, oh boy, wondering about Landry Shamit. Oh boy. But yeah, it's all from Woj. First three minutes, was five, about five, six minutes was me talking about the Jaunty Murray trade. So, um, but the reason uh, per Swiss cultures, uh, D'Angelo Russell, he's opting in and his number one priority is to win a championship. Watch him, does he not r- realize the Lakers are now going to try and trade him? And be like, oh yeah, who trade him for who? What well, training for somebody? I don't. I don't really don't think he's gonna stay there for a while. Like the only thing and he says, winning a championship. Yeah, win a win a chip in China in China with a Shanghai Sharks. The only thing you're gonna fucking win. And he says he's always excited to play under JJ Redick. Do you know, buddy? At a high level. Yeah, sure, buddy. So Clay Thompson. He is interested in joining the Mavericks per at the Steinline. End quote. The latest evidence of that amid a growing belief lead wide that Thompson's relationship with the Golden State Warriors is irretrievable. Strong mutual interest between Thompson and the Dallas Mavericks is expected when free agency opens Sunday evening. League sources tell the Steinline. Period. End quote. 
Yeah, I talked. I talked about it on the NBA news. And I forgot what who said it. Like through all these tweets, and I don't want to go back through them. And I really don't know. Like feel no. Like I don't feel like going through back through. I don't really feel like going back through videos to find out. But I think it was Mike, Mark Stein that said this. Like, oh, the Mavericks might show some interest in Clay Thompson. So he might be going to the Mavericks. Okay, if he shoots well, he could be a good pick. I mean, he didn't shoot bad this year. Like he shot thirty eight percent. From three, like, and fourth and three-pointers, but he takes a lot of threes. And he'd miss a lot of open ones, but... But he shot, like, he shot good in that last year, but will it translate to the playoffs, though? But if, but if... The thing that matters, though, is defensively. Like, if his defense is solid enough, then they'll be good. So, Evan Turner on the uh, Point Forward podcast, he thinks J.J. Reddick should be able to make the Western Conference Finals with LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Does this dude not know basketball? He t- he yaps way too much for some. The dude talks, like, yaps too much. And the Lakers, they're not making the Western Conference Finals with this team. Like, LeBron James and Anthony Davis, just that isn't taking you to the Western Conference Finals. Like, you've got to have other players step up. Dude, I like, the, I mean, their podcast is okay, but John Morant's healthy. The Grizzlies will be better. Uh, Denver hasn't changed. Minnesota, almost saw the promised land. They're not falling off. O- OKC got better. And Luka, if you add in a locked-in Luka, if they get Clay, they're going to be good. So, I'm not seeing where the Lakers are a Western Conference Finals team. You list all these teams. You list the Grizzlies. I think they'll be way better. With a healthy John Morant, a healthy Stephen Adams, Desmond Bain, Jaron Jackson, they're going to be good. Denver, Minnesota, OKC, Mavs. I, I don't see where you, where I can put the Lakers in a Western Conference Finals contender. Just saying. Russell Westbrook is expected to lead the Clippers in free agency per at Tomer Azerly. End quote. Lake sources have told Clutch Points that Westbrook is not expected to be in a Clippers uniform next season. With with Russell reportedly looking at other options that would include opportunity and playing time. There have there have also been reports of the Clippers' interest in point guards Chris Paul and Kyle Lowry, which would reinforce the idea that they're going to replace him. So yeah, uh, from what it sounds like, reading this um, quote here, they're done. They're basically done with Russell Westbrook, and they're going after another veteran. I think he can contribute still, but it looks like he's had so many teams last few years. But I don't know if Chris Paul or Kyle Lowry would be a better fit. It's sad because I feel like he's a good fit there. There's probably another team that pay. There's probably another team out there that will pay, him, but we'll see. So per Windhorse ESPN. Um, on the, on, I believe on NBA Today, he said, The Clippers are still not offering Max jo- Paul George the max contract. The Clippers are not acting like they're desperate to keep him. End quote. Well, I mean, yeah. But, I mean... I don't think you want to give him the max. I don't think he's the worst star in the league. It, it's just not even close. I just don't think he's worth the max, though. That's the thing. So, um, and basically Brian Windhorst also said his th- th- real three options. Resign with the Clippers, opt in and force a trade to the Golden State Warriors, or sign with the Philadelphia Sixers as a Phil- Philadelphia 76ers as a free agent. The Sixers are the least likely option. He said he wants to remain playing on the West, on the West Coast. The Warriors are the really the option. Breaking! Yeah, in all caps. Jalen Smith is entering unrestricted free agency after declining his player option, per at Mike A. Scotto. Oh, breaking. Ooh, school, spooky. Nobody cares. Uh, yeah, and D'Angelo Russell cares. Uh, yeah, that's really all I got um, for this video, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, until next time, I have a lot. Peace.